subscribe to our YouTube channel, and turn on notifications for the latest updates. Hurricane Douglas has fortunately moved significantly north of even the most recent Central Pacific Hurricane Center forecasts and is only giving marginal conditions to most of Oahu. The worst of the storm is remaining just offshore, and Kauai is potentially the most likely area to see significant impacts at this point in time. This storm is still a Category 1 hurricane, though with 85 miles an hour and a minimum pressure of 989 millibars, getting pretty close to Oahu and Honolulu, uh, but the worst conditions related to the hurricane are staying just offshore at this point in time. Honolulu right now is 53 miles away, uh, it's getting close to its closest approach right now. Barking Sands is 138 miles, Nihue on Kauai is 115 miles away, and Nihua is currently 160 miles away from the center of Douglas at this point in time. There are still a lot of warnings in effect that are related to the storm. There is a hurricane warning from Oahu to Kauai County, including the islands of Kauai and Nihua, and a tropical storm warning uh, for parts of the National Park uh, well to the northwest of the main islands. Here's the GFS model, the initialization. You can see the cloud cover and precipitation, the area of influence related to the storm. It's a bit late of a model run, uh, but the GFS has really been nailing this northern trend that uh, forecasts as a whole were missing. Uh, I know on our live stream earlier today, uh, the consensus along with the Central Pacific Hurricane Center's forecast cone was that this storm would get much closer to Oahu than it fortunately has. Uh, population centers there have been significantly spared from what we were just looking at even several hours ago. Uh, but the storm could impact Kauai significantly uh, if trends don't continue to change, so we will be monitoring that. Hopefully the storm continues to move well north of forecast. Right now, the sea surface temperatures aren't unfavorable for the storm, about 27 degrees, some inklings of 28. Uh, it isn't in the most favorable conditions in terms of wind shear, though, and there is a, an abundance of dry air around the system, which really helped it weaken uh, from its peak a few days ago. Here's the wind speed model from the GFS as well. You can see the worst conditions potentially and increasingly likely to stay just offshore of Oahu. Honolulu uh, is down significantly in odds of tropical storm force winds now, uh, over 50% from the prior advisory by the Central Pacific Hurricane Center. Uh, and you'll see the storm, at least on this imagery, uh, move to the west away from Hawaii once we get past 24 hours, potentially getting to the western Pacific past the international dateline as a tropical storm still, uh, but that is yet to be seen. Intensity forecasts are always a bit tricky. Tips of tropical storm force winds look like this Honolulu is down about 50% from the prior advisory from over 70% down to 26%. Very fortunate situation for Oahu. Barking Sands and Lihue still over 75% for both of them. Lihue in particular at 82% of tropical storm force winds still. Hopefully we see a repeat of what happened for Honolulu. This is the latest forecast track uh, model spread. It's a bit late on the initialization, uh, so don't put too much into this. You can see the official cone there color there in red showing a landfall over Oahu or a very close approach. Fortunately, the storm has stayed significantly offshore, allowing the worst impacts related to the hurricane uh, to follow suit and remain just offshore for northern Oahu right now. Uh, Kauai, though, still needs to monitor this closely over the next several hours for potentially significant impacts if the storm gets close enough to land. Here's the latest satellite imagery of the storm. You can see really the worst core of the storm just offshore, though a bloping cloud tops are trying to reach over parts of Oahu right now. Uh, again, though, we've really seen a lucky situation develop uh, with the storm moving well north of the consensus forecast from even just six hours ago, enabling Oahu to t potentially dodge a pretty significant bullet. Uh, the Hawaiian Hurricane Shield is trying its best to stay in full force right now. Uh, we'll, we'll have the latest updates as we get into tomorrow morning. A fortunate situation developing right now. Stay tuned for more. You can follow us on our outlets, force13.com for web articles and the live cyclone tracker. You can also find us here on YouTube. If you're not watching here already, make sure to subscribe. We're also on Facebook. It's Force13 to find our latest posts there. And we're also on Twitter. It's at Force13 to ask us a question on that platform. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. More information can be found at patreon.com forward slash force13. Or you can become an ultimate fan right here on YouTube for perks and to directly support the project and our future endeavors in these times. You can also find us on Discord to communicate with us on our Discord server. Link is in the description below and you can message fool13 at extension 9094.